Welcome back. It's been a few days. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. One of the things that we need to do now is we need to take these isometric sketches here and turn them into uh, multi views. So I'm going to start up here with this first one. This would be the easiest one to do, probably. So I've got, I don't have the actual figures that I could put here on the computer, so I've just drawn them here on isometrics. You'll actually have your parts you can look at. So to make an, a multi view of this, what I'm going to do is I'm starting off here by saying, okay, this is going to be my front view. It gives the longest dimension and it gives the most contour. So this right here is my front view. Typically this would be the right view and this up here would be the top. So I'm going to start off here by saying it's three by two. I'm using the lines that are provided. Now I'd probably have a ruler here that would make me do it better. I'm going to go skip a few lines over here. I'm going to skip, I don't know, four lines. Then I'm going to give a right side view. Notice that my lines are straight across from each other. I'm also going to go straight up. I skipped one, two, three, four lines. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four lines. And that right there would be the top view. All right, get rid of those. Um, so you can see here, I'm going to use some blue lines. You wouldn't have to put these lines, but if I put my 45 in, and you guys that have a ruler, man, I hope you use the ruler. So these are my guidelines. They happen to fit. It fits right where they need to go. So that's the first part of the multi-view. The next part, then, is putting the dimensions. How do you put the dimensions? Well, we'll start over here on the left-hand side. I'm going to do my widths first. I'm going to go till I see a line. Here's a line. So it is 2.25 across. All right, over here I'm going to do my width. I'm going to go across. Here's a line. So my right here, 0.75 is there. So I've done my width now. Now I'm going to do my heights. I'm going to start here. Go till I see a line. That's right there. I'd want that actually here, but and it goes up too, so it's 1.5. Go over here to the height. Well, it's the same height. It's the same dimensions there. So I've done my, my height, and I've done my width. What haven't I done yet? Well, I haven't done depth. All right. Well, depth would be up here, but if you notice, that and this are the same. So if I go up here and say that this is 0.75, I'm doing a repeat dimension. I don't want to do that. Likewise, if I go here, that's 2.25. That's a repeat dimension. I'm double dimensioning. I don't want to do. I'm done with this one. All right, let's take a look at the next one here then. All right, as I look at this, I've got to pick my, my best view. And as I look at this, I'm thinking this would probably be my best front view because it gives the best contour and it gives the longest dimension. I'm going to say then that this right here would be my right. And then right now, actually, you wouldn't even see the top. I'm going to say the top would be from this view right there. So I've got to make this be my front view. Okay, so my front view. There's my front view. Now my right side. As I look at this, I'm going to have this line right here in it. All right, it's one high. So as I make, I'm going to skip four again. One, two, three, four. For that, that gives me, by skipping four, it gives me plenty of room to be able to put my dimensions in here. Well, that's an edge, all right? So here's an edge. This is an edge line. If I use my ruler, and that would be a line that I would see. If I come off of here now and draw my 45 in, this tells me that my drawing should be right in there somewhere. And if I take these lines up, like we learned earlier, I guess I should have been doing this from the get-go, that tells me what my top view should look like. My top view then, and I decide, is this going to be a hidden line or an object line? Well, it's, I would see it, so it is an object line. And so there's my, my multi-view of this. Now it's time to dimension. 
start at the left side. I'm going to go left until I can run into a line. I hit a line. So I'm going to say 0.75. I'm going to go back to the left again. I'm going to go until I hit a line. All right, here's my next line. So I extend that up. Now what we're doing here is this is called datum dimensioning. All right, datum dimensioning, I'm going to keep going back to the left. You could do it from the right, but I'm going to keep going back to the left. Again, I went, started at the left, ran into a line, dimensioned it. Went back to the left, went until I ran into a line, a different line, ran into a line here, dimensioned it. Start at the left side. I'm going to go until I run into a line. Here we go, run into a line, dimension it. All right, so there are no more left drawings here. Now it's, all right, up here I could go left, but that's already been dimensioned. All right, you go back to the left, go over, and that's already been dimensioned. So now I'm going to do my upward. Start at the bottom. Go up till I hit a line. Go back to the bottom. Go up till I hit a line. Here's where the next line would be. And that would be 2.25. Like that. This one has been fully dimensioned. Again, I don't want a dimension up here because that and that would be the same dimension. Okay, we're getting ready to start our last one here. Here's the third one. All right, as I look at this third one, all right, uh, I'm going to use my front view from this side, and I'm going to see that, and I'm going to see that. So that's going to be my front view. I'm going to go ahead and draw that right over here. It's only three tall. That's my front view. All right. That's that left side. You see that line, and you'd see these lines right here. There's the lines you'd see. So let's draw in some guidelines. I know there's going to be a line there, a line there, a line there. I know there's going to be a line there, there, and there. If I draw in my, my 45, 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm going to skip. Maybe that, actually I'm just thinking this one's probably not going to be correct. All right. If I look at it uh, from the right side, yep, there's two. It's two from the right side. I'm going to have two, and this bar is off to the far right. So if I come back down here, it's going to go two across. There's the overall box that it fits in. There we go. So now, as I said, if I looked at this from the right, this would be this line is on the right hand side. So that would be there. This, because this piece right here is set back, I would see that whole line right there. So that's going to go all the way across. Now, some of you are starting to think of something already, and we'll come back to that. If I was looking down at this, all right, I would see this L and this square. Well, there is one projection line I forgot to put in. Maybe some of you guys saw that already, too. There should be a projection line right here. So, as we look at this, here's that square that we talked about earlier, and here's that L. I know it's nice with the computer. Now we can draw back in there, and I had it there. All right, so now we have time to dimension it. I'm going to go to my black. 
I'm going to start here on the left hand side and go until I hit a line. Well, here's a line, so I've got a dimension of 0.75. Go back to the left side again. Go until I hit a line. The next line I come to is this one. So that left and right is dimensioned here. Well, I want you guys to see something here. This drawing down here is exactly the same as this. And I'm going to get the exact same dimensions here as that I got here. So you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to get rid of it. I shouldn't have it there. It's going to be a repeat dimension, repeat drawing. So now I have this one up here. Go left to right. I get the exact same dimensions. The only other thing I can do here now is go up and down. All right, my first line I'm going to come to is here. Except if I go here, I'm going to go across the drawing. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to take this now and go over here and go to the left. All right, as I go up, that's 0.75. And then if I keep going up again to the next line I come to, it's 1.5. Now, some of you are saying, well, these dimensions are exactly the same as these. That's true, but they're not. This here, these dimensions, dimensions here, all right, are giving me um, length. Excuse me. All right. These dimensions here are giving me depth. They just happen to be the exact same measurements. The only thing I'm still missing here now is height. And then I'm going to go over here to the other side so I don't have to crisscross. And now this is fully dimensioned. Well, hey, I hope this helped you. I'll catch you on the flip side.